Hey Howard, it's comedian Wendy Liebman. Your brother Rich is sending me to you. Uh, he said that you're a comedian and a poet and a flight attendant. I am not a flight attendant, but I am a comedian and I love to write poetry and chain letters and checks. They're not very good. I haven't flown in a really long time, like even before the pandemic. Before the pandemic, I was hit by a car. Um, I was walking across my treadmill. And, no, I was walking across the street and this woman hit me with her car and I passed out. When I woke up, I didn't know where I was, but I knew I wasn't at home because somebody was vacuuming. <laughs> That's my favorite joke. Is it okay if I laugh at my own jokes? Anyway, um, but the pandemic, now with the pandemic, I've been home since March. So the last time that I flew was like two years ago. And there was a guy sitting, sitting next to me and I could tell that he kind of wanted me to shut up because I'm chatting and chatting and he's busy, you know, flying the plane. I don't know how I got into the cockpit, but I don't know what airline you work for, but the worst one in terms of losing my luggage, I don't want to say the name of the airline, but it rhymes with Welza. Yeah, I can't believe they lost my luggage. And it was a carry-on. So, I don't know about you, but during the pandemic, I have developed something called Amazonnesia. And that's when you forget that you've ordered a bunch of stuff in the middle of the night until you get these mystery boxes. Like the other day, I opened this huge box and it was full of 16 giant coffee table books about minimalism. I didn't remember ordering them. I did remember ordering some weighted blankets, but I couldn't afford the shipping. And finally, I ordered some perfume so silly nobody can smell it during a virtual society but maybe you have superpowers it's channel five it smells really good i couldn't smell anything the other day i couldn't smell or taste my food and they say that's a sign of the virus uh, when you can't smell or taste anything and then i took off my mask um, my husband makes me wear a mask around the house even to bed of Jennifer Aniston. It's a mask of Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> anyway, I hope your pandemic is going great, that you're writing a lot of jokes and poetry, chain letters and checks. And thank you, Rich, for sending me to Howard and hope to meet you in person one day. Bye for now.